Today, I'm going to walk you through a volunteering service named Feed My Starving Children, also called FMSC. But more importantly, I want to show you how the volunteering service actually works and why this is so important not only for starving children, but volunteers as well. For those who are nearby these cities listed here, please pay attention to watching this video. This is potentially for you and hopefully you're the next volunteer for this service. I will go through about FMSC briefly and share the videos I took at the session on December 13th. You can read it over by yourself, but I want to point out a couple of things. As you may know, hunger is still causing nearly half of deaths in children under 5 years old. But many of us, including myself, are not aware that about 6.2 thousand children die each day from causes related to undernutrition. This is so heartbreaking and we should check out what we can do for them. By providing food with nutrition, FMSC is seeing every child whole in body and spirit and seeking them to grow, thrive, and develop their full potential. Good idea for you to be here. And as long as these kids are hungry, we're doing our best to put food in their bellies regardless of what they may believe, and we're a nonprofit. That means that everything we do here, everything that you see here, is by and through the generosity of our volunteers. You guys are going to pack every single meal here today. We're just facilitators, making sure it goes smoothly. kids and, and their families out there that uh, they have an opportunity to pull themselves out of poverty. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. All right. We just found her today, but she is malnourished, lives with her grandma. She's looked after her for seven months with her. But when you look at her, you brought it you. I mean, her skin is really in a poor state. She has wounds, no hair. She has kind of a blank stare. She won't respond, won't smile. Her hair is red and very brittle, and she weighs nothing. And so she'll have a hard time. She has nothing to eat. She's eating a piece of cassava. Cassava is a root, which is light in starch. And you might find that she ate this this morning. Most likely she's going to sleep on this piece of, of cassette. Her hair is a bit just growing. Remember, she's 19 months. We're going to do what we can to see that we save this life. Uh, hopefully, we'll feed my starving children food. She'll be better. And maybe that will give Grandma hope and many others. We hope that. When we come back here two months, three months from now, we should have at least hope for life. So what can I say? Keep packing the food. Because their lives out there, life like this one I'm holding, is going to be a lead of tomorrow. That needs the food. Thank you. Thank you, volunteers. Thank you for my studying children. So about 16 months of our food, just over two boxes, and you can see beautiful little girl that she is. And I love this photo because not only is she actually a really cute little girl, but in the top right of that photo, we, I wish we had a better projector, 
that grandmother who looks so listless and who looks so despairing at the beginning of that video, you can see what a smile she has on her face looking down on her granddaughter. And this is the difference that you guys made here today. Not only are there healthy little boys, there are healthy little girls, but there are grandparents who aren't losing their grandchildren. There are mothers who aren't losing their daughters and fathers who aren't losing their sons because you guys came in and fed those kids. So keep both of them in mind as we tell you how many boxes you guys packed. So you guys, most of you are here for the very first time. So our average as an organization, every volunteer who comes through our doors on average will pack one box of food. That means every single one of you, if you were an average session, would have made that much of a difference. You guys are not very average though. There was 140 of you packing today. Give me a drum roll. You guys absolutely crushed it. You packed 205 boxes for 44,000 meters. Well done. 44,280 meals. That is enough food to feed 44,280 kids for one day. Now, I cannot visualize that many children. I don't know if I ever want to see that many five-year-olds in one place. We always prefer to frame this in terms of years of food. You guys, by coming in and giving up just two hours, your Friday afternoon, you guys actually packed enough food to feed 100 and 21 children for 365 days. Can we get a round of applause for that? Well, 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 well. well done. So here at the end, we always ask a few things of you all as we go our separate ways. Every volunteer, we always ask, if you're a person of prayer, please just pray for us. Especially pray for our partners uh, overseas who have to bring all these meals to wherever they live. They get to see the success stories. They get to see every story that doesn't end like Jason's though. So please keep them in your prayers and keep every child that is going to be eating these meals that you guys packed in your prayers as well. Number two, do you guys have a good time? Yes. You guys are more than welcome to come as this exact group again anytime. The logistics might be difficult to get all of you in the same room, but please come again. Uh, come with your friends, come with your family. If you're here with family, Come with your co-workers. I don't care how you come in. Bring the neighbor you don't particularly like and force them to work in the warehouse trip. Just come in and pack with us again. The final thing that we always ask is in relation to that number down there on the bottom of the screen. Now this for us is not us trying to guilt you. That is us celebrating the volunteers who came before you. As I mentioned, everything we do here is through people's generosity and that is the generosity of the volunteers who preceded you. Other people paid $10,627.20 for you guys to have this opportunity to feed that many kids. Now, one meal only costs 24 cents to produce. If all you can afford to give today is a quarter, that'll buy a kid lunch. Thank you for even that small donation. Thanks for watching this video. Just in case you are wondering if I've got any permission to take video or photos and publish it on my own YouTube channel, this is the email from FMSC. Everything's okay as long as I wash my hands. Again, thanks for watching. If you know me personally, please DM me. I'm more than welcome to join with you. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you.